in Mara Doha, it's basically me unboxing. It says it all. Me unboxing a small body of archive of my grandfather's legacy, him being the first photographer of Gaza, and me intervening in this in this archive. Uh, to try to reflect or project my subjectivity and me as his grandson, who's a cultural practitioner, who's an, who's an artist, um, relate to him through this exhibition and also uncover a bit of his legacy, basically shed light on his legacy that has been forgotten for a few decades at the moment. Titling the exhibition Unboxing was uh, quite loyal to what happened in its, um, whether in its realism, but also in its poetics. Uh, I unboxed the three red boxes that have been with me for three years now. I dared, I faced my monsters, I faced my beasts, and I dared. And what I'm really happy about as well, and it's worth mentioning, um, it happened in Cairo Photo Week. Uh, Photopia and myself, we go back years and it feels like family. Photopia is family. And Cairo Photo Week, this is my second time to come to Cairo Photo Week. But in the context of Photopia, I'm known as an image maker in fashion. And I'm so happy that I'm sharing this side of my practice in the context of Cairo Photo Week and the context of Photopia, which if, which is a familiar place to me, a place where I feel I can be vulnerable, I can show my nostalgia, I can show my emotions, I can, in a way, be naked with my family story. The sentimental part in, in, in this project is, is quite important because in my training, in sort of um, the archival work and, and what have you in research and historical research, I'm trained not to, uh, not to imbue the project with my emotions or with any kind of sentimental attachment. And here I went against that. Here I was putting myself, I was putting my nostalgia, my, my emotion, and basically the sentiment of trying to reconnect or connect since I never met my grandfather to connect with him as the core of this exhibition, sort of the, the core of the impetus that drove me to have this exhibition or put it together and gave me the curatorial approach. It really felt so good. Um, my father, I mean, my grandfather is my paternal grandfather, so obviously my, my, my father uh, was elated and I, uh, it was amazing to see him in this state where he comes every day to the exhibition, he spends an hour there and whoever is around, he would tell them the stories of the photos. He was even surprised with some of the photos since I scanned the negatives. They were only negatives, they weren't photos. Um, but also my mother, um, who's Palestinian, not from Gaza but from Bethlehem, because uh, this project really transcends Keram the photographer of Gaza. This, this project is really about the disrupted histories of, of both Armenians and Palestinians uh, and using Keram somehow as a motif for that. Uh, 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 even though it's around Keram, but at some point Keram becomes secondary and the problematics of Armenia and of Palestine comes to the first plane of the project. So I think uh, I, have, I have no problem saying this is probably the most important project I've worked on in my entire career. I've been terrified of this project for over a decade uh, because working on my grandfather's archive has, oh, has been a thing I've been going back and forth uh, uh, about for more than a decade now and I've been terrified of it because there are always these obstacles uh, uh, um, and so I can I can tell you that I was beyond terrified two months ago and in the process I cancelled it twice in two months time feeling that it's it's too big a project to be 
to culminate now, even if it's a work in progress. I felt I was not ready um, to get into it yet, but it happened. I'm not scared of it. It opened, it opened so many challenges. I'm not scared anymore of this project. I'm not scared to speak up and say, I cannot reach my grandfather's legacy because it's denied from me. Um, it stopped being my crutch to pursue the project. If they don't want to give me the rest of the archives, families, Gazan families, live on all over the world. And even right now after my talk, a lady came and she told me she has a lot of my granddad's photos through her parents. So, you know what? No obstacles, no excuses. Let's unbox a little bit more and more and more. It's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Cairo Photo Week is an excellent platform. I mean, you know it, uh, the founder knows it. Um, and as I said, Right now, I feel like I'm part of this family and it's uh, not only an honor, but also a duty to be part of it. And I think to have such a, a big event, uh, uh, grouping all image makers, but also people in the periphery of the image and the, the photograph uh, in a series of events, uh, is just amazing. And the fact that it's taking place in downtown makes it even more special, more real. This year, compared to the last edition, this year is definitely much bigger. I mean, it's even, I would say, even a bit overwhelming. Mm -hmm.